Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hot or Not episode where we put the ultimate heat test to the test. I don't know. I don't know we put the foods to the ultimate test to find out what is hot and what is not. We are seeking the hottest foods that we can find in the theme parks in all the areas around Orlando. We have tried a few different things. We are here today at Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival because they have a spicy gumbo that we want to try and we want to see is it hot or not it's not just about how spicy it is but is it taste good does it look good does it smell good and is it super spicy we're trying to find that all-inclusive amazing hot dish and it's been a challenge to find so will this be a hot or will it be a not stay tuned to find out All right, we just sat down here at the Magnolia Terrace at Epcot with our food. And so we picked up this delicious looking. We've been hearing a lot of great things about this. This is the spicy chicken gumbo with andouille sausage. And this dish is $6.25 and it's got a lot of things happening in it. All right, I don't really know what's in this thing per se. I know that it's got chicken and andouille sausage in here and it's got some rice and it's got some sort of gravy, typical kind of gumbo ingredients. Looks like a little bit of veggies and things, spices, peppers and things. I don't know, but it looks great. Uh, so we're going to try it out and we're going to find out if it's actually hot or not. Um, we're always looking for these super spicy hot dishes anywhere we go and so here again we are at Epcot and we saw that they had this spicy andouille sausage and chicken dish. We want to give it a shot. So just a reminder for those of you who may not remember, we evaluate these on four different dimensions. The first dimension is going to be visual. How does it look? What does it look like? Does it look amazing? Again, we start eating with our eyes first then we move into smell. Does it smell good? Sometimes I feel like things look really good and they smell terrible. Or vice versa, they smell really good and they taste terrible. So it's gonna, we're gonna be evaluating it on smell. Then we get into the heat. How spicy is it? We are looking for super, super hot dishes. I'm gonna be honest, we've been disappointed in the past. We haven't found the heat yet. There's been one place where we really found the heat. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of the foods that you find in the theme parks and the restaurants around the Orlando area, they're just sort of like, I don't know what to say, Americanized maybe? You know, they're kind of, um, or, or they're me, they're me and eyes. They're, they're wimpy eyes. Uh, that's me, so we're, gonna, we're looking for super hot stuff. Um, and then we're looking for flavor. Doesn't matter honestly how hot it is, spice wise, if it tastes bad, it's not a hot dish. It's just, it's just hot for the sake of hot. It's not hot for the sake of being awesome. All right, so let's take another look at this before we dig in here. It looks pretty good. I don't know if it's going to be good. So let's take it. Let's let's start evaluating. So visually, for me, when I look at this dish, um, I don't know. It, it looks okay. It just kind of looks like a big blob of stuff. Um, it's not. It, and, I mean, it's in a soup bowl, typical gumbo soup bowl. I think presentation-wise, though, it could be better. Yeah. For me, visually, um, it's not like looking at it is not evoking my sense of like. I can't wait to dig into this yeah. thing. Um, it looks fine, but overall, it's just okay. So I'm going to give it like a five. I give it a four. I don't visual. think it looks that appetizing. Yeah. I mean, it looks fine, but it's in, there's nothing really visually appealing. Really yeah. Let's give it the smell test. How does it smell? What do you think of the smell test? I, I give it a five. I'm gonna give it like a two, because I hardly even smell it, and I have a good—I mean, I have a good sense of smell. I smell it. I smell spice. I don't even smell it hardly. Do you smell it? Here, yeah. you smell it. Yeah, I smell it. It's a two for me. It doesn't. I mean, it smells okay, but it's just not a strong smell, so I'm having trouble even. I don't getting know that it. I like the smell. I didn't say I like the smell, but I do smell it. What do you think? What do you, so? What's your score? I'm, mine's a two. Four or five, probably a four. Four. Okay, so a two and a four. Let's give it the taste. I think I got all the little bits and the sausage and the chicken and all the gumbo and the rice and everything. Let's give it a go. All right, what do you think of the spice level? At first I didn't think it was spicy at all, but it has crept up on me like right here down in my throat right here. Um, so I do definitely taste the spice. 
it's probably a three or four to me. Um, it actually is getting hotter as I speak. <laughs> so I would say probably a four because I feel like it's hotter now than when I first ate it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been kind of eating it as you've been talking just because I'm like, where's the heat? And it's, I feel like it, for me it's like a three. Three. Yeah, I could say four too, but I feel like. I'm trying to think back of the tip yip that we just did not too long ago, and that was like a five. Yeah. I feel like that was quite yeah, a bit spicier true. than this. It was. So it's probably a three for me also. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a three or four. So I'd say three. Let's, I'm just going to go three. So three. Yeah. And you say three too. So yeah. yes, it's really not spicy. And now that I've stopped eating, like it's almost already gone. Oh, mine's not. Mine's, mine's still spicy. Yeah. I wonder if you got something in your maybe. bite, maybe that was a little spicier because I don't, I don't I have anything in my throat it. at all. Uh, mine's like right here. I just have a little bit on my tongue, and I had a few bites. Huh. Maybe it's the. Did you do the sausage? Yeah. So did I. So, um, what about flavor? Maybe let's give it a couple more bites here. Did you get, go ahead and get some more of that sausage? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more here. Just try it out. Cause it's um. What do you think flavor-wise? The spices in this aren't my favorite. But I've never been a huge gumbo person. To me, it tastes yeah. like gumbo. So I feel like if you like gumbo, you're going to like this. But, yeah. you know, from the time I was little, my dad ate gumbo. Man, I, I, you don't find it spicy. Uh-uh. Like I mean, really it's getting a little bit on my tongue. As I'm speaking. I keep eating um, it, too. My dad, from the time I was little, ate gumbo, and I would try it, and it was just never... I don't not like it, really. It's just not my favorite thing. I don't order it, and I probably never would order it. But I feel like if you like gumbo, this definitely tastes like a good gumbo. Don't you think? Yeah. I, got, I like all the textures in it, but for but, yeah. me, taste-wise, um, to me, this is like a three. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean... I'm not a fan of the, the a spices. A three? Wow, she really hammered it. I'm not a fan of the <laughs> spices. I was thinking, yeah. Um, I'm not. I will say, I think... The andouille sausage, I think, is pretty good. The chicken, the chicken's quality. Yeah. I think I the chicken's the kind of quality. Were good. Everything was cooked well. And I'm pretty hard on rice, and the rice is actually good. Yeah. It's um, nice and firm. I think it's got, a, it's got a couple of different variations of rice in it. It's got like a long grain rice. Um, I don't know what kind of rice is, but there's a couple of different rices. And they're pretty firm. Like, they're not overcooked. It's oh, not no, super it's, mushy. Yeah, it's cooked well. The rice is really good. Um, it's the spices for me. Yeah, but I'm also not a huge gumbo fan, to be honest, perfectly honest. I don't, I don't tend to eat gumbo. Yeah. Um, because gumbo tends to be spicy. Yeah. Just in general. I don't know that, like, gumbo that's not spicy even exists. Yeah. Um, so I usually stay away from it because I don't like spice that much. I mean, I like a little bit of spice, but when it's too hot, I can't eat it. So yeah. I don't tend to get gumbo. Um, but I think for a gumbo, this is pretty decent. It really is. Um, it's just not my favorite. But yeah, overall, I still think flavor-wise, for me, it's like, it's like a five. So you went with three, I went with five. But that's because I really don't like gumbo. So... All right, so let's do the tally. Again, once again, this is the spicy chicken and andouille sausage here at the Magnolia Terrace in the American Pavilion at Epcot at the Flower and Garden Festival 2022. Yep. Um, so it is a limited time option here, and I really, and they just don't have anything spicy at this festival. We have looked. This is the spiciest thing we could find. There's also a spicy hot dog with pineapple on it. We haven't tried yet, but I have a feeling that's going to be busted. Yeah. So, we tried to go for the hottest thing we could find at the festival, which makes me think they really need hotter stuff. Yeah. So anyhow, let's do the tally real quick. So visual, we gave it a five and a four. Yeah. Uh, for smell, I gave it a two, she gave it a four. And for heat, we both gave it a three. And then for flavor, I gave it a, she gave it a three, I gave it a five. All right, so when you math that all out using Common Core Math, just kidding. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't even know how to do Common Core math. I grew up when they like taught you how to do math. I still carry the one in a totally different way. I don't know. Do you carry the one? Oh yeah, in my mind, but like yeah. it's there. Um, yeah. So, um, yes. So when you tally the score up, that's a three point six two five average. So I'm gonna I'm gonna round that up to a four. So this is a four out of ten on the spice on the hot or not scale. So I have to tell you, a four out of ten. That means it is most definitely a big... Not hot. Not. <laughs> not wah, wah. Yeah. It is a... When on the hot or not scale, it's a not, for sure. So, 
But if you like gumbo, get it. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. But yeah. again, this was a hot or not episode. This wasn't just an yeah. evaluation episode yeah. on like, oh, is this a good dish? Is this something you should get? Is it worth the price? Is it something you should try at the Epcot Festival? It was a hot or not episode, and it is definitely not hot. It's a not. It's not hot from a heat perspective. It's not hot from a flavor perspective. It's not hot from a visual or a smell perspective. It's just not hot at all. It's busted. So um, overall, I think if you do like gumbo, sure, give it a rip. Uh, but for us, it's a not. So we hope you've enjoyed this episode of our Hot or Not series. We have other Hot or Not series uh, episodes as well. And we've got all sorts of other content. Like I said, we do vlogs. We do POV videos. We do all sorts of versus episodes. We do tons of different stuff. Check out the rest of our channel. Check out the different playlists. Um, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I always look at the math and look at the status. I always look at the statistics and the analytics. And like 90% of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to put it up in big giant letters right now. Subscribe. Um, because you'll always know when our latest video drops and you'll get to see it. So, again, thanks for joining us. We hope you've had a great time. We will see you again tomorrow for another brand new episode. Until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.